What's up my dudes, it's Anson and today I'm here to do the mid-year book breakout tag. At the time that I'm filming this video, I've already finished reading 50 books and have hence finished my Goodreads goal, but I'm actually reading five books currently. I don't know. That. I'm gonna grab my laptop because it has the questions on here. So, so the first one is best book you've read so far in 2020. Now, this is kind of a tie between two books, and I must say, I adored My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. This one is a really hard-hitting novel, and I feel like pretty much everyone should read it. It's about this girl who is 15 years old, and she is essentially being raped by her English teacher. She's very mature for her age. Even so, her teacher is obviously exploited teacher-student relationship that he has with her and taking advantage of her. We see her thoughts in present day where she still has feelings for this English teacher. Obviously it's talking about a very hard topic to read about but I think because of that everyone should read it and one of the main things in this book was that the mother of this girl didn't really do anything about the fact that she was getting raped even after she realized that this was happening and that just broke my heart like she could have done something at least be there for Vanessa but she wasn't for the most part if you have kids listen to them it really helps yeah it was just a very hard book to read but it was definitely worth it book number two that I'm going to talk about because like I, I'm very indecisive um, it's Becoming by Michelle Obama this one really talks about how she had to go through different situations because she was a black American and the first black floaters like the first lady of the United States it really shows the difficulties that she had because she was black and why people not why but like what uh, how people were discriminating against her for just being black especially during this time i feel like it's a very important book to read obviously again i have links linked down below for ways you can support the movement so that's there too definitely read this book if you want to get to know how people are being treated even a little bit next up is the best sequel that you've read so far and i think it is for the devil breaks you by liver break you know i've talked about the diviners so much on my channel and it is one of my favorite series pretty much ever i was not a huge fan of the last book but this is the third book in the series and it was my favorite i adored this entire series and especially this third book was just so freaking good i highly recommend it new release that you haven't read yet but you want to ballad of songbirds and snakes i believe it was called by suzanne collins it's the prequel to the hunger games i really want to read it there's a part of me that really wants to read it but i've heard so many mixed reviews on it that i don't know if i want to go forward with it it's like a little part of me that's like really hesitant for it it's still there on the list but one of the books that i've seen the cover of going around and i kind of am obsessed with the cover is A Song of Rates and Ruin by Rosanne Brown. The cover's freaking gorgeous man. So have you seen that? I saw one of the copies which has like green stained edges. So pretty! But yeah the story is also pretty intriguing like the way that it sounds. Also came on like the beginning of June I think so. It was a pretty recent release. Number four is most anticipated release of the second half of the year. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I'm so, so excited for this. It is a book by Vinny Schwab. If you didn't know, she's one of my favorite authors and I'm so pumped for this book. So we're in France in 1714. In a moment of desperation, a young woman makes a Faustian bargain to live forever and is cursed to be forgotten by everyone she meets. Thus, beginning the extraordinary life of Addie LaRue and a dazzling adventure that will play out across centuries and continents, across history and art, as a young woman learns how far she will go to leave her mark on the world. But everything changes when after nearly 300 years, Addie stumbles across a young man in a hidden bookstore and he remembers her name. It sounds so good. I'm like so excited for that. I am so pumped, you guys. Like you have no idea. I'm like shaking with excitement. I'm gonna die. Biggest disappointment. House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. I know this has mixed reviews, but a lot of people really love this too. So I was a little upset that I didn't like it. And it was just not a great book at all. I have also talked about this book in one of my wrap-ups in more depth. I will leave it linked down below so you can check that out. But for me, it was just not a very good book, unfortunately. Love it. Biggest surprise, there's something about Sweetie by Sandia Menon. I was one of those people who swore that I would not read a book by Sandia Menon because I felt like it was more like Bollywoody and I wouldn't really like it. Um, but I ended up reading this book and I freaking loved it. As I can totally say it's not for everyone, but I personally loved it the most because the female character, Sweetie, is from the same state in India that I'm from. Having like little dialogues in the language just 
got me so happy. I've never seen it before. That's why I was just like super excited about it. I understand and completely agree it's not for everyone, but it really talks about fat shaming and it just does it so well. And the way that Sweetie had to deal with all the negativity and just pretty much bullying even from her own family. It just really shows how much that happens to her and it's just, it, it was really well done. Favorite new author, this could be a debut or a new author to you. For me, that would be Daniel Clayton. I've heard about her book, The Bells, for a very long time and I never really read it. I don't know if it was her debut or not, but it was a new author to me and I adored her. <laughs> it was just such a fun book to read. I read The Bells if I didn't say that. It falls around this world where we have all these people who are completely gray. Like they don't have any color to them. These people like magician type people who are called The Bells can essentially change the way that people look. It's like a plastic surgery but in human form that's essentially it. They can change your color, they can change the way your nose looks like, your mouth, your eyes. They can, they can change everything about you but it's not permanent. You need to always like go get touched up to look like that kind of like a tattoo fades away the human structure also fades away to what it was in the beginning and they just turn gray the chameleon our main character who is also a bell um has to essentially save her people and also the people of orlean and it's just good it's really good it's just a fun book to read and i just really like her writing style as an author it's just really good newest fictional crush uh you know, I, I don't know if I had any fictional crush at all, but just for the sake of answering this one, I think it will be James Herndale from Chain of Gold. I thought he was like such a precious character and I really adored him. So definitely going to go with that one. He's really an adorable character. So newest favorite character. I feel like this would be Finn or Finian from Aurora Rising. He's just a very sassy character throughout the entire book. And also the person who voiced the character was just, it had he had a perfect voice for that particular character. Definitely adored that character. So I'm going to choose Finn. A book that made you cry, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Um, this one was just... It was really hard. It just really talks about how this boy is coping with his mom having cancer. There's this huge tree in his backyard that's coming up, um, that's waking up every single night as a nightmare. This tree is telling him little anecdotes and the tree makes the little boy tell his own truth to the tree. It's just a hard hitting book. I definitely cried reading that one. Hi, editing answer here. I'm absolutely a forgetful idiot. The Poet X. By Elizabeth Acevedo made me cry like crap, like ugly cry. It was pretty bad. It was such a beautifully written book. It's about this girl who writes slam poetry and it's a very short book but it was so impactful. If you have not read that book or even listened to the audiobook, I would highly recommend you guys to listen to the audiobook. It is fantastic so please do check that out as well. Um, it is about Xiomara Batista who feels like she's unheard and unable to hide herself in her Harlem neighborhood and she just writes these poems in her notebook and her mother is like a very Christian lady and Siomara is questioning her religion and everything. She joins the school's slam poetry club and tries to express herself a lot better. It's about this girl who's in her teens but is also very much grown I guess. Like she has a very mature body so people actually make passes at her without her even wanting it in the first place. The mom essentially thinks of her as a slut and treats her as such. For the most part and it's just it's so so good it is very impactful so definitely give this one a try a book that made you happy red white and royal blue by casey mccriston this is just really adorable straight up and it was also funny the main character alex is just a funny guy henry and alex have like little banters and stuff it's just so fun to read and just made me really happy most beautiful book you've bought so far this year pretty sure i didn't buy anything this year <laughs> Who am I? But yeah, I didn't buy anything at all this year, which is really upsetting, but it's a true fact. One of my favorite covers of the book that I've read this year is this one. It's beautiful. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? I seriously need to read like two classics this year. I feel like it should be Pride and Prejudice. Hey there. Um, I'm doing like a buddy read thing. Fingers crossed. I'll actually get to it and finish it this time around, but I definitely need to finish classic. I'm not a huge classic reader, so I don't know if this is ever going to happen, but I definitely need to get to those. Yeah, those are all the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to me already, there is my face over there. There, click on that to subscribe hit the thumbs up button down below and if you want to watch more videos by me they will be linked on the corner over there i'll see you guys next time until then i'll talk to you all in the comments bye